Hi there, it is Linda West and I'm really excited to be here. I am a business and personal mentor who helps women entrepreneurs get shit done through my weekly GSD Mastermind Group. I'd love to have you come on over if you want to learn more about it. But I'm here today to uh, talk about looking forward to Mondays. Why do people not look forward to Mondays? What do you think it is? Well, I think it's because they're really not enjoying what they're doing. If you own a business and you're putting yourself out there every day and you're doing the things that you absolutely love doing, most likely you don't even know that it's Monday. It's like another day. It's just another awesome, really incredible day. And I came up with this thought of Mondays because um, in my mastermind group, I frequently get messages from the women in my group and they will send me a message on Friday or Saturday or Sunday and they say, I can't wait till Monday. And I'm like, that is so cool. Well, the reason is because it's not only because they absolutely love what they're doing, what they do, but they also know that the content that they're going to get the day of our mastermind group is going to be something that's going to be extremely valuable for them. And they're going to walk out, walk out of there having accomplished a lot of great things. And sorry, I'm looking around here because I'm um, looking on Facebook right now on my computer. And what I like to do when I do these live videos is I like to sh share them onto my personal page at the time. So that way if there's anybody out there who doesn't see it on my business page, they can see it on my personal page. So bear with me a second. Okay, here we go. So I wanted to talk about um, Mondays and three things, three things, it's just three simple things that you can do to start loving Mondays. Really, it's a possibility. Trust me, I love Mondays. I think they're awesome. Actually, I love them almost more than most of the other days of the week because I know that the ladies of the mastermind groups are going to be showing up and I know that they're going to be positive, uplifting, and it's always going to be a great time with them. So the first thing you want to do is make a list of everything that you love doing. And I um, share with you that I had a you know, life coach you know, many years ago, and that was one of the things she had me do. And that really helped me to see what it was that I should be doing. So I made this list and I looked through the list and I was like, how can I incorporate all of those things into one business? This one business that'll help me do what I absolutely love doing as often as I possibly can. And I figured it out. And this mastermind uh, group was, was actually at the top of my list. I had a couple different things that I tried out and the mastermind group was on there as well. And that's what I ended up with but like right now. And I'm just, I'm leading these mastermind groups and I absolutely love it. So that's one of the reasons I love Mondays. Now, the next thing is you want to take that list and you want to strategize to figure out how are you going to be able to do more of those things and less of the things that you don't like doing. If you're spending most of your time doing things that you love doing, you're gonna be spending less time doing things you don't love doing, right? I mean, it's only obvious. There's 24 hours in a day and you can only do so much in 24 hours. So if you spend most of your time doing things that you love doing, you're gonna find, first of all, that you'll become more uplifted, you'll become more, um, just more positive, and then people around you two will become more positive and it will be really, really awesome. The next step is to then jump out and do more and more and more of that what you love doing. But if it's like, say for example, you are working a job and you do not like that job. Now I was in corporate for many years. I was a legal secretary for 20 years. I worked for a judge in the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. I was really good at my job. I was really, really good at it. But I didn't like it. Like I didn't going into work every day. It was not something that I really was thrilled about doing because I knew that there was more for me out there. And so doing this list really helped me to see what I should be doing and what I would be doing better. And then I had to strategize and figure out how was I going to make that change, you know. And then I just jumped in and I did it. And that's the next step is like I said, just jump in and do it. Don't be scared. Life is way too short for us to spend it doing too many things that we don't like doing. 
I often see on Facebook, you know, I see news and stuff, but I also see people's personal posts, how negative they are and how down they are about things in their life. But the thing is that we have options to change our lives. We have options. And anybody who doesn't think they have options, they need to really look at the possibilities of things that they can change in their life. So I really encourage you to do that. Make your list and, and anything like you're like, uh, I love watching movies, put that on your list. You know why? Because who knows? Maybe you're the next Siskel and Ebert. You don't know. You know, they're no different than you are. The only difference is that they put themselves out there and they started making money doing what they love, critiquing movies, right? So make that list, strategize to figure out how you can spend more time doing the things on that list. And then lastly, jump out and do it and just start doing it. See your life change. And my name again is Linda West, and I look forward to seeing you next time here on Linda M. West. What is it? Linda M. West 5 is my Facebook handle. But I look forward to seeing you guys. And I don't have a very long arm, so I'm going to come up there and turn that thing off. Have a good night.